What you guys got going here? So this is our kinetic wind sculpture. For, uh, powered by me. Powered by wind. Yeah. Powered by the forces of nature, thankfully. We're getting some pretty good gusts here just a second ago, but uh, I don't know, man. This, it just wants to take off. It literally wants to fly away. How do you think the design came out there, Karam? And we had some, a lot of issues of We're gonna framing. Come. Framing of the fence blade, and we basically like changed the materials of the blade. Yeah, yeah. And I like the, how these angle structures are. You know, the tripod. So, yeah, I think that works well. A lot of stability to it. Yeah, the fan blades are probably the most troublesome because, uh, aside from the gear parts and other, but. We got them strung out. They're really, really nice though. They skinned really, really tight to it. So it's picking up as most of the air as it can. And another fun part is the belt. Yeah, that's the dynamic part about the piece. Is it's, activating, yeah. it's activating this bell system that's powered by the wind. So, I don't know. A little bit of work. We're building, got ourselves a nice little windmill. Yep. I'll explain those gears right there. Yeah, so basically the, the wind power translates its energy that it picks off from the environment into this main, the main gear stem which rotates the, the objects on top which make contact with the, our bell or our pipe bell. And that's basically the simplicity of how it functions. quite well though. You can see from the back here how much tape we had to use to get it just to tighten up but it definitely worked out. It worked out actually really well. Yeah. And for the bearing part, we didn't actually use the bearing as a turning device. We just used that as a, just a perfect diameter. Yeah, perfect diameter to hold the shaft yeah. in line so it didn't wobble out. A great idea yeah. on his part. Yeah. yeah. So. Are you pleased with it though? Yeah. Me too. And I love how it's going moving back and forth like this. Yeah, the shaft's on a on an elevated roll. So if it does have any problems with the gear mechanism, which you kind of do every once in a while, it'll push out and then slide back in. Yeah. I have to give all the credit here to Karan because he's a genius. <laughs> you're, collectively, we did you were a part of this, right? Yeah. yeah. You gotta give credit where credit's due, you know? Hey. Yeah, but collectively, I think this project came together fairly well. In fact, it's actually working better than I anticipated it to. Yeah. Oh, by the way. This is uh, 6'9", 2010, just for reference. 2010, 2010, baby. That's pretty attractive. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, we hope that you enjoyed our demonstration. See you around. <laughs> <laughs>